I love Fleetwood Mac. They're one of my favorites. Denver Biscuit Company yeah. is also paired with Fat Sully's uh, Pizza and Beer Company. So are we having beer and pizza for breakfast? Beer and biscuits. We're going to switch it up. Got to just see what we're going to get. I'm willing to bet I know what Dad wants. But we're going to wait for him to say it so I can see if I'm right. I'm going to have to wait till the next you, trip. That's why you need to get a half gallon. You've gone through like that almost entire bottle. That's a sampler bottle. <laughs> this is why these don't work well for me. This is a lot of Cholula. Are you going to be smelly today in the car? <laughs> because of that? No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you just tell me. It's if like I pig pen. There's a certain pig aroma that... <laughs> trying to fit a square into a circle. Okay, well, we'll just cut it down and fit it into the box. Go ahead and just put that lid on there, Kyle. Let me just see how it comes close. Don't put it on. No. You need, you need two black domes and none of the clear domes. And then we have dealers all over the country that come and pick our trailers up like five at a time and sell them in Ohio. How many people will sets. come and buy individually from you? Um, it's, it's can, a, it can varies. Can people do that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it, we have DIYers, we have builders, and we have dealers. And some we of the- whole spectrum. Yeah, we do. So, so we're potential uh, DIYers. Correct. And you guys also do the can do the steel frame, and yes. we could pick it up and haul it, and then finish it. Yep. Frame yeah, that's the primer, and then uh, then he'll paint it with the black. And so then they come out here, and when it's a gooseneck, we, we had to we flip it on the its side, and they put all the flashing under, and then do all the wiring and the axle. If we get a rash of these ten foot wide, then we need the wider axles. Right. right. And so we have. Two delayed. that are in, in progress, and then, yeah, like this takes four axles, the other two are going to take four axles. So you have track on the bottom, studs, track on the top, like it makes a sandwich. And so see, these are just flat, but it does the same thing. So it's the dimpling and then, um, and then screwed. Yep. So they fit into each other, and we give you blueprints, so they're all, they're all um, printed on the outside. And so then it's like an erector set. Yeah. You put it together, A goes here, B goes here. Right. Better than Ikea. Can you work off SketchUp files? Yeah, as long okay. as we have all the dimensions so that we don't have to go in there and measure everything, okay. it's best. But we are developing I saw the that software. on Instagram, yes. yes. So it's still in the, um, we're still ironing some things out on it. It's not completely done yet. So he jumped the gun and asking for volunteers. So yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's SketchUp looking. Okay. So we're they're customizing it for us. Sweet. So basically, easier. you'll you'll pick the trailer, your size, and it will just give you the footprint. So it'll have the floor plan where the fenders are. And then you are, build up off of that. And then you build up off of that. You Sweet. pick what kind of roof you want. Awesome. You know how easy. high you want your walls. <laughs> and then at the bottom, it will tell you. It knows you can only go up to thirteen six. Yeah. So, so it, if you if you have too high that. of a pitch or something, yeah. it turns red. Yeah. Good. And says sorry. Can't do. You can't have a 15 foot tall house. <laughs> so it's much better to take it like this as a package. You know, so the very first house we spit out, we had a big party here with the, it was a DIYer. So he brought his buddies and they built the frame to see what we needed to change, what we needed to do better. And one of the things was the headers that go over windows, doors and whatnot. So we reinvented the header and saved about 500 pounds on the house. And 500 pounds is, is huge. And that's just out of this stuff. Yeah. So um, it's the headers now, you'll be able to insulate on both sides. Sweet. So we obviously highly suggest spray foam. Right, right. And um, and then uh, it you know brings the weight down on the house too. It has a mobile unit. And uh, it's he comes, and, spray he comes does. and sprays it for us. And it's non-toxic. I can sit next to him when he's doing it, and I smell nothing. But then, as soon as it's, you know, sprayed in, and like within maybe five or less minutes, it's hard. So here's the track, and then the stud, and then the track. 
our program tells us exactly how many screws you need. Um, we are having the screws specially made for us. This one, this, the length of this one. Your house will look something like this. You'll get a print of what it looks like in 3D. The layout, so it tells you exterior wall six, one. Oh, perfect. That's so then here's the, the labeled studs, and then the tracks have double. HTT4 Simpson Strong Ties. And you drill a hole, just put this two washers, bolt, nut. Then you screw this goes, so this will lean against the stud. And that's where you put all the screws against into the stud. I can watch the rest. My two favorite bakers are gone. That's a pretty good <laughs> show. I'm, I'm, he laughs. It's good. I'm dead serious. It's a good show. I'm very addicted. We're staying up till after midnight watching that. We bake. We are not staying up. To me. Dad's up over at us like this. Well, the first few oh, days. Oh, that looks really nice. The first few days I did. My dream. Yeah. They do a different British bakery item. Bread, uh, pastries, biscuits, all kinds of stuff. And they do three challenges each episode, and then at the end of each episode, someone goes home. But it's really good. <laughs> 